Hi, everyone. Welcome to the CEO Roadshow webinar series, where we feature small and mid-cap stocks that may be undervalued or have other upcoming catalysts that make them a potential long-term investment opportunity. Today, we're joined by interim CEO Joseph Frontieri and Chief Technology Officer Ed Honor of GEX Management, ticker GXXM. GEX Management is a management consulting company providing high-end strategy and enterprise technology consulting solutions to public and private companies across a variety of industry sectors. So uh, Ed and uh, Joe, welcome. Thank, Thank you. So to start off, we're going to get into some questions here. Um, I think we've got pulled up on screen here as the uh, Goat X Exchange. So we'll talk about that later. But to start off, um, let's go with Joey first. Tell us about your background, and then and then Ed, um, we'll follow with you. Sure. My name is uh, Joseph Frontieri. I'm the interim CEO of Gex Management. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur since I was 17 years old. I've been in the public space for about two and a half years as an executive. Uh, we pulled together uh, Gex to focus on the DeFi industry, the growing DeFi industry. And we were fortunate enough to get Edward Honor, Ed Honor, who's, who's on the call with us as our CTO. Uh, I'm excited to have him explain and talk about everything we're doing here. Okay, go ahead, Ed. Uh, next, just give us a brief rundown of your background, please. Yeah, so my name is Ed Honor. Um, I've been in the technology sector for over 35 years. Um, prior to the turn of the century, I wrote two books on Oracle databases. Um, so for um, a long time, I've been focusing on, you know, the, the process of getting data in and out of systems. So the really exciting thing with data science and uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning over the last couple of years is that it really gives us insight into how to use data to effectively drive a business forward. So what our focus has been um, with, with GEX and with GEX Data Labs is to um, acquire data, refine data, and one of the reasons that we launched the GoDesk Exchange is it gives us an ability to um, glean business insights out of data that we see as people are doing transactions in DeFi exchanges. So what we do is we capture data and we, um, we use principles of data science, mathematics, statistics, probability, to do things to, to give us business intelligence, to, to kind of predict what kind of things are gonna happen in the future based on what kind of things have happened in the past. So we ingest very large amounts of data into our, our GDL platform and our GXM platform. And then we apply the principles of data science, including machine learning and artificial intelligence to both um, analyze what's happened in the past and then to use that analysis moving forward to do different kinds of predictions of how markets are expected to go um, and then um, to support other businesses that have a strong data science, um, strong data science uh, facilities within their organization by providing data sets to them that um, are very powerful, that can be used within their AI and ML models to, to come up with things that they want to do for their organization. So I'm really excited about GEX and GEX management because as a business consulting firm that is focused on moving things forward with data, I feel like we're in a very unique position because we are very into the DeFi platform at the same time as we've got an extremely strong background in data science and the, the things that people are looking for when they're trying to make really good strategic decisions based on data. Okay, great. And what, um, I guess you kind of answered the next question was what, you know, attracted you to joining the GEX management team. I think you discussed that. Any, any further comments on that? Or? Well, yeah, I've known uh, Joe and I've known Joey Frontieri for uh, a long time now, for several years. And we've, we've done a lot of interesting things in the past. And I was really excited when he became the interim CEO of GEX management, because I knew that between the two of us, we could really drive this thing in a, in a, technology focused direction and we could add value to the shareholders at the same time as really providing a service to companies that need what we have to offer. Okay, great. And before we discuss the new Godex uh, DeFi exchange, we've seen explosive growth in the crypto Bitcoin markets globally. Why do you think so many investors worldwide are attracted to, to this exciting space right now? Well, it's really an emerging market. I mean, it's, um, it's a market where there's a lot of growth potential. There's a lot of um, ability to offer new products. Um, you know, there's 
um, a lot of new products, a lot of new financial products in the DeFi exchanges that aren't available in, in, in traditional markets. And I think it's, a, it's people who know how to invest in this space, who know how to use a data-driven and a, kind of a math and science-based approach to investing. There's huge opportunities um, in the DeFi exchange for um, hard, huge profit growths. And Ed, if you could just kind of, for those people new to this this area, this arena, define the DeFi market for us. So DeFi stands for decentralized finance, and what people are used to in the past is um, centralized exchanges or centralized marketplaces. When you go into the stock market, you're trading on Nasdaq or you're trading on OTCQB, and those are all centralized. Now, with a decentralized exchange, you have a blockchain, and that blockchain on top of that blockchain, you have these decentralized exchanges where there is no centralized, um, uh, I guess, point of authority is the way to put it. So that as people come up with new products, um, it's an open marketplace where people can come up with new ideas. They can use it on a decentralized platform. And, you know, there's gives opportunities for companies like us with the Godex exchange, where we're approaching um, the concept of DeFi a little bit different. And then there's a lot of really exciting other DeFi platforms out there. And decentralized finance really allows uh, businesses or investors to kind of work together to, to really move uh, their, their profitability going forward. Uh, so it's an exciting, it's an exciting space. And then next, tell us about some of the products you see from your proprietary DeFi protocol, crypto data collection. So part of what we're doing is we're trying to make everything data focused. You know, there is so much data in cryptocurrency and there's so much data in just DeFi in general that our products are really based on educating the investor, making sure that the investor has the tools that are necessary to be successful investing in a, on a DeFi platform, <clears throat> along with knowing how much money you made. It's really surprising that if you invest on most DeFi platforms right now, when you're done, you don't know if a, if a trade or a strategy was profitable or not profitable. So our main focus with the GoDex exchange was to provide that information so that you know what your cost basis is when you buy cryptocurrency and when you sell cryptocurrency, because if you're using a lot of the products that are out there in DeFi right now, it's really hard to tell if you're making or losing money in DeFi. Okay, and are you guys the only company right now that has realized, uh, that has a realized, I guess, an unrealized gain reporting software for a DeFi? Well, I never want to say, I never want to say we're the only of anything, because as soon as I say that, somebody pops up and, with something else. But we're definitely a leader in going forward with that. We realized, you know, we've got people with our company, including myself, we have a, a strong financial background with, with financial software. So we really, um, we were really focused on knowing whether or not you're making your money making or losing money, knowing what your cost basis is. So I'm never going to say we're the only, uh, but or even the first, but we're definitely um, going to be a leader in, in this product space. And, and next, Ed, you know, what makes this so unique? For example, like reporting and trading, what are, what are some of the unique aspects of this? Well, there's really two things about it. One is that with our platform, it doesn't matter where you've traded in the past. So let's say you were using Uniswap or SushiSwap on the Ethereum platform, or you were using PancakeSwap on the Binance platform. It doesn't matter where you were before you started using our platform, because what we can do is we can go back to your first trade that you ever did in DeFi, and we can analyze your data going forward. And that gives us some leverage where we know but because of our ability to read the blockchain and, and analyze your um, previous trades because of the amount of data you know, that we've already collected and that we can apply to the problem, it really gives us, um, you know, it, I think it's a market, it, it segments us from other players in the market. And how many DeFi wallets belong to Americans and uh, other Anglican countries? Well, so that's really a tough question, but I would say that it's around 15 million right now. Now, what's really important about that is when you look at a population of over 300 million and you say, oh, well, there's um, 15 million DeFi wallets and most traders have more than one wallet. It means that we're looking at <clears throat> right now, we're looking at maybe one and a half to two percent of the population. 
which as more and more people learn about DeFi and they learn that they can make money in DeFi, <clears throat> I expect that to grow astronomically over the next several years. Well, Google says there's about 15 million uh, MetaMask users in the US. Um, does that sound right for you? And, and would this make a, a good target for GXXN to talk to? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, MetaMask is really the place people start with. If you're new, um, there's other, you know, there's other wallets, there's Trust Wallet, and there's other wallets that you can use. But I think most new um, people on DeFi, they start with MetaMask. So if you've got 15 million American wallets or so, I would say MetaMask is really a good source for that information. Okay, and I've got one other question here. So how does Godex, you know, monetize growth? What, what is the revenue model in other words? So we have, we have multiple revenue models, obviously. Um, one, we are applying a lot of data programs to this. And what we are, in the future, what we are planning through the Godex exchange is to always make sure that you're making the best trade. So trades in a DeFi platform happen through a thing called liquidity pools. And for a trade between any two cryptocurrencies, there are multiple liquidity pools. And one of the biggest focuses with Godex is our ability to choose the right liquidity pool. Because even if we charge a fee for our transactions going through those liquidity pools, the amount of money that you save by being routed through the right um, set of liquidity pools to make your trade, anything that we charge is totally overwhelmed by the amount of money you save by using our uh, platform. So that's the one, that's the one direction, which is um, fee for service. The other is monetizing um, the, the, I'd say the external data. We don't sell data um, related to our actual traders, but we work a lot with metadata and we work with a lot with trends. So GXXM in the future, we're going to do a lot with monetizing um, trends that happen inside of um, cryptocurrency trading. So it's not as much um, with Godex. Godex fills in a lot of the blanks and tells us general market trends. And then we use that to apply that to the data sets that we're building um, that we are going to use on our own behalf, but also, um, you know, selling these data sets to um, others. Great. Thanks. Okay. Um, Ed and Joe, I guess, uh, any other information GXXN investors and stakeholders uh, might be interested to know? Well, I'd like to say I'm just really excited about what's going on with GXXM. I think that we are at the forefront of data science and we're at the forefront of applying DeFi to data science and applying DeFi to machine learning, artificial intelligence. And there's a lot of problems that I think that can be solved uh, with these data science technologies that even if um, DeFi and cryptocurrency aren't a direct um, input to them, they really provide data that the data that we're providing through cryptocurrency can be applied to solving a lot of different problems. And you're, you might hear about um, the data that comes from GXXM being used to solve problems that have absolutely nothing to do with cryptocurrency because they are their market trends. So I think this is a really exciting space and I'm looking forward to seeing where we can take it. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Very hot space right now. Investors are tuning in, trying to figure this space out. A lot of great opportunities, certainly the GoDex exchange. And GXXM looks like a very exciting opportunity. So I encourage all our listeners to keep an eye on this. We will be starting coverage on CEO Roadshow. We will be doing, uh, this will be the first of many webinars that we're going to be doing over November uh, and into early December to um, get GXXM management team back on and uh, to answer your questions uh, and do these live webinars. We'll be starting those. You can see that at ceoroadshow.com. We'll also post the replay for this uh, by tomorrow on ceoroadshow.com in case you joined us late or missed part of this. But uh, gentlemen, I want to thank you again for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing you. Uh, it looks like our next one is November 3rd. And uh, we'll keep our eyes on appeal for, for upcoming announcements in the meantime. And uh, take care. And, and thanks again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys.